the Cornwall Vintage Crop Stakes Day listed race. Class 1 will kick off day 3 on the flat. And let's get a full list of the runners. Horridge Marchie for Leon Van Rinsburg. He's at the top. Union Light for Craig Allen. Dyer Shara's sister for Graham Clitterbuck. Very sure that one's back from last season. October Bay also for Graham Clitterbuck. Quality Street for David Hooley. Sealed his fate. Joshua Sutherland. Tamora finished there for David Robertson. And Zephy for Padre Hogan. So a few previous winners in this. And a couple of returns from last year. And ready they go. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to take them along? It looks like it's going to be Horridge Marchy who's the leader. And it's October Bay going to play it outside. Those two are going to dispute the lead early on then from Sealed His Fate in the black and red in third. Widest on the track then. Quality Street in the purple jacket. The one that's been driven up the rail is David Robertson's Tamora Finisterre in the turquoise and maroon as they come past the big screen. And Horridge Marchy passes the winning post with a circuit to go. And a lead of about two lengths. Three in a line for second. The one closest to us, Quality Street, and a purple. The one on the rail, Timora, finished there. And between the two of them, October Bay. And back in fifth is sealed his fate. After that one, Uni Light in the green and yellow. The yellow and black on the rail of Zephy is next. And then the early back marker making its seasonal debut is Dyer Shana's sister. But it's Horridge Marchy who is in the lead. Leading by a good two lengths to Timora Finisterre who's gone second and then Quality Street in October Bay a gap to the back four sealed his fake Union like Zephy and finally Dyer Shana's sister Horridge March then clear by two lengths seems to be travelling well in the lead the chasing trio are about two two and a half lengths behind Tumba Bay is probably just about the leader of those three. With Timora finished there on the rail. Uh, Quality Street, the widest of the three. Tucked in behind them, sealed his fate, probably a length and a half behind them. Uh, another couple of lengths then back to the back three of Zephy, Unilight and Dyer Shana's sister. And they come down to this next turn at the bottom of the track. And Horridge Marchy is in the lead by two lengths to October Bay is now a clear second Tamora finished there on the inside is third sealed his fate's been driven up to burst through um, those those chasing pack and has now come right through into a share of second but it's Horridge Marchy who's got the lead from October Bay sealed his fate on the outside another one that's trying to creep closer is Uni like they're down to one we're inside the final four furlongs and Horridge March is in the lead but now sealed his fate comes through to challenge Quality Street begins to run on October Bay and Timora finished there still staying there but look a little one pace Uni like and Zephy are trying to run on Dyeshara's sister has dropped right out the back but it's Horridge Marchy who's in the lead. Horridge Marchy then been in the lead all the way. Two furlongs to go. Horridge Marchy leads by two to seal his fate. Quality Street Uni Light now sweeping around the outside. And Uni Light's come through now to chance. Seal his fate's got on it. Seal his fate who's got the lead from Uni Light. Tomorrow finished there. He's now finishing really well. They're inside the final furlong. And these three have pulled clear. It's three of them in a line. It's hard to split them. Uni Light just in the lead on the near side. And now Uni Light asserts. And Uni Light's got to take the vintage crumbling off towards the line. Unilight takes it from its close for a second, sealed his fate, fast finishing Zephy, then October Bay. And Dyer Shana's sister really disappointed today, finished right out of the back. And Unilight has taken it for oh, Craig Allen, chicken farmer extraordinaire. And That's the winner then. You like the winner for Craig Allen. Sealed his fate was second for Joshua Stone. Zephy for Padre Hogan was third. Temora finished there for David Robinson fourth. And October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. I'm really not sure what happened to Graham Clutterbuck's other horse, Dyer Shana's sister, because I'm pretty sure that was pretty good last season. You can see it's rated 115, so it's level rated with the winner. And really you would have expected it to have performed a little bit better than that.